What up? This is Rama Screen and in the anticipation of Born a Champion, which arrives in select theaters and on digital and on demand January 22nd and on Blu-ray DVD January 26th, I'm here talking with the stars of this new film, Sean Patrick Flannery and Katrina Bowden. How are you, Sean and Katrina? Very good. Thanks, man. Awesome. Congratulations on the film, you guys. Thank you so much for taking the time. Sean, let me start with you. I grew up in the 90s, so naturally I was a huge fan of young Indiana Jones and of, of course, Boondock Saints. Uh, but honest to God, I did not know until recently that you are this badass uh, martial arts maestro. So tell me, Sean, how many years, how long have you trained in the specific jujitsu and what led you to writing this script that you described as a love letter to jujitsu? Well, you know, I, I found jujitsu over 20 years ago, and it overwhelmed my life. And I can honestly say that the vast majority of the positive things that have happened in my life, a large percentage of those came from the jujitsu mat. And uh, I wrote this while I was in my bed way back in 2007, if you can believe that. That's, uh, that's how long the gestation process takes. But it is. It's the culmination of uh, a lot of the things that I find important in this life. And uh, took until 2019 to actually uh, get Katrina on the phone and have her join me, and we, we went into production. That's a long, long time, but yeah, to say it's a passion project is, is an understatement. It, it is, you know, one of the most important things I will have done certainly in my career timeline. And Katrina, um, what was your reaction when you first read Sean and Alex's script? And was this your first time? performing alongside an actor who also provided the screenplay. Yeah, so I, I loved the script off the bat. Um, I just I just loved how it blended the, the, the world of, of, of mixed martial arts with this beautiful love story. And there was just so many amazing scenes in there that are so inspiring and heart wrenching. Um, and and I, so I, I immediately found myself very pulled to the script. And then uh, when I learned that it was such a passion project for, for Sean and um, knowing how, how long it took him to get this made, it just made me want to be a part of it even more. And on that note as well, Katrina, um, do you have martial arts background? Have you dabbled in any type of self-defense? I've dabbled. I've done uh, my fair share of kickboxing classes and, and that kind of stuff and boxing classes, but nothing quite like what, what Sean <laughs> has, has done. <laughs> Sean, let's get to the heart of the matter here. Uh, the tournaments, the fight sequences, and it features uh, Edson Barboza, among others. So talk to me about the choreographies of these fights. Did you come up with them and how did you guys combine or coordinate the, between various styles to get what you wanted to look for for the screen? Uh, well, yeah, I, I coordinated everything and I, I, and I was very specific in, 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 in writing those scenes because the transitions uh, are pretty important. You know, I certainly wanted it to be true to, you know, my, my social circle of uh, jujitsu practitioners and MMA practitioners. And, but when you cast uh, people like Mickey Gall, you know, and Edson Barbosa, you, you, the rehearsal pro, pro, the process is nothing more than dialogue. You know, we didn't have to go in a, in a room and do it 15 times. I literally told Edson, this is what's going to happen. You're going to take me down with this. I'm going to transition to that. Then you're going to throw this. I'm going to parry. I'm going to counter blow it. And then we shot it. We didn't have a huge budget to, to take extra days, nor did we have a huge budget to do it 15 times. We had a budget about to do it once and, uh, and, and hope we got it right. So, you know, you cast people like that. And I'm, you know, I'm grateful for guys like that to join me on set because it did. It saved uh, an incredible amount of time. And uh, what kind of person is Mickey Kelly? Is he the kind of guy who's too obsessed with one thing that he develops blinders about what's really important in his life? How would you describe Mickey? Well, I, I, I think uh, he's, he's someone that uh whose family kind of took over you know you, you set out through life i think and he has a certain goal in mind and then a family comes around and it uh forces a little bit of a recalibration so it's the 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 story of that recalibration and the the battle between two passion trains you know and uh satiating one may or may not be the right answer to satiate the other and Katrina, what was your process of embodying Layla? And what do you think that draws Layla to Mickey? 
Um, I think there's part of the, the the danger of what he does that she was drawn to, um, and she also could see what a great what a great guy he he is. So she was drawn to all of it, like the, a little bit of that, like that security and, and what a great guy he is, but also the, the little bit of the danger. But um, but then obviously at tw once she starts having a family with him, she doesn't really want him to dabble in that world as much because she's, you know, she she cares about him and she doesn't want him to get hurt. So um, I think a lot of women can relate to Layla. I think she's a very relatable character. And I think um, you know, Sean did a great job of writing very grounded, realistic characters in, in this movie. Is it fair to say that if you want to fall in love with a fighter, then you're going to have to be willing to accept the risks that come with that. Otherwise, don't fall in love with a fighter. <laughs> yeah, I guess like, that's, that's a true statement. Yeah. Uh, as I'm winding down, um, here's a question for both of you. Um, so what theme wise, what themes would you uh, hope the audiences would take away from watching Born a Champion? Let's start with you, Katrina. I hope that they're inspired by it. I think it's... Um... It's, I think it's a very inspiring story. And I think that if anyone can walk away with a little bit more inspiration and motivation to go after what they want, then we've done our jobs. You know, I guess one of the strongest things is uh, overcoming adversity, you know, uh, course correcting and charging on. And I, I, I hope that's conveyed in the film. And Sean, uh, now that you've got bit by a screenwriting bug, are you planning to write more scripts in the near future or do you prefer to stick with acting generally? Uh, you know, I love them both. I, I certainly don't think they're mutually exclusive, but uh, I, uh, I, I wrote a book in 2016 and uh, now I'm in the process of uh, uh, developing that into uh, uh, a fixed amount of episodes for a, a, a TV show. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of inundated in that. And, and it, it, it is a love of mine. I actually moved to LA to be a writer. And then the acting kind of snuck up and took me away and sequestered me for a lot of years. But I recently got back into it. But it, it, it's never, the love has never gone away. It's just kind of risen to the surface. I, I understand when anybody says, oh, an actor wrote something. It's like, oh, <laughs> how cute. That's nice. <laughs> uh, it, 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 is, it is what brought me to L.A. It's, uh, and uh, I, I, I don't want to park any of them on the, on the sidewalk. Thank you for sharing that. And as a fan, just want to say that I... I'm still hoping for Boondock Saints 3, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> so for, for my fans at home, everybody go check out Born a Champion in select theaters, digital and on demand January 22nd, and on Blu-ray DVD January 26th. Sean and Katrina, thank you for talking to me. Congratulations. Thanks. Thank you, brother.